here I am. It is a uh, gay Tuesday morning. And this is the new iPhone. And so it looks a lot clearer to me when I look at the screen. So I'm hoping and guessing that it's going to be a lot clearer for you guys. And uh, today I'm going to, uh, this is going to be for JKD and we're going to be integrating the ranges. And um, again, I, I, I said it before there's so many ways to uh, break down the ranges um, I would call this one close to medium okay and even though it's going to involve kicking uh, I won't be stepping with the kick all right and uh, I think you'll figure out what I mean by that so basically what's going to happen here is that I'm in my open stance. I have my right foot forward. He has his left foot forward. But my right leg is already around the outside of his lead leg, which is his left leg, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do from this position, and this kind of thing is where, you know, our heads might be touching together, our shoulders might be touching together, this shoulder might be bumping up against his shoulder. I may be pressing him back. I may even just use a stiff arm to shove his head back this way, okay? But the idea is that I'm gonna be doing a pivot hook. And I'm gonna do it in such a way to where it's a same time pivot. It's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be really hand, foot, foot, but basically just like this, okay? So rather Tyson-esque. And um, once I do that, hook, okay, the simulation is that I, I either hit him and haven't knocked him out, or he blocked it or he ducked under it, okay, and um, so in any regard, after that first strike that I do or I attempt to do, okay, uh, he will be coming towards me and refacing me and possibly even hitting me at the same time, at which time I will shuffle step back, okay, and I'll also shuffle step because my stance is open this way back to this position, okay? As I hit with a corkscrew type of movement, which means the palm is going downward, which means it could be very straight or the elbow could pop up, all right? Uh, but the point is, is that after I do my pivot, punch, retreat, shuffle, retreat, and hit him, okay? that basically now I'm in a closed stance again, okay? And then I simply lift up and set down my leg to kick and land with my punch, okay? So I'm construing that as middle range in this sequence, okay? Because I'm using a long punch and I'm using uh, a kick, all right? A stationary kick or a shifting kick. Shifting meaning shifting my weight backwards and collapsing and kicking that way, all right? Okay. Uh, and again, this is one of those things towards a tactical sequence that could change at any time. Um, any of the strikes, if I land them hard, will change the, the rest of the combination. So that's why you do uh, various combinations so that you can recognize the time to um, change things um, as they occur. All right. Share. So we got the hook, we got the shuffle retreat, we got the kick and punch. Got the hook, got the shuffle retreat, and got the kick and punch. So I'm stopping each time just to kind of break things up to show you positioning, all right? There's an angle, there's another angle. So I'm almost ending, if he doesn't turn to reface me, I'm almost ending at a 90. But actually I'm moving at a new 45 or a new 30, okay? When I say 90s, it's just in relation of the original position 
90 that way and 90 this way and a 45 or a 30 this way. All right. Okay. But again, remember, this is one of those things to where we talk about, uh, even though it's shadow boxing, when you talk about the sequence of learning and teaching and practicing of um, compliant, semi-compliant and uh, non-compliant, what that means is that pressure given against you or not. So non-compliant means your opponent gives you no pressure and he's basically a human dummy. Semi-compliant, he begins to fuck with you in a certain way and in a kind of, not dictated way, but in a certain number of ways. And then non-compliant is uh, basically sparring or and or pressure testing with, with gear. Um, so, what did I want to say? So, when I'm shadow boxing in a sequence like this and I'm doing the specific techniques that I'm showing, it's against an imaginary opponent that's totally compliant or a human dummy and let me do whatever I want. You understand? Okay. The reality is things will change and your adaptability comes from what you practice. Oh, oh. So I've just been biking for about the past three hours and then I just did a one hour workout. So that's what I do, that's how I roll. Okay, so let's take a look at it again. Kind of have a jumping pivot, Tyson-esque, okay? Shuffle retreat on the hip and a kick in the punch, okay? So, if my kick goes to his knee and he collapses down, I would, there would be no straight punch to the head to follow up with, I'd maybe hammer fist, okay? Or I may actually, if he drops down, he'll be in line with my left hip and I'd use my rear leg kick to kick him in the head. So these are the kind of examples of um, adaptability that, that you make, that you'll change your combination. All right? Okay. On this side, this simulation is that he has his right foot forward, I have my right foot forward, and our feet are both inside of each other. Okay? All right. So I'm gonna do the same jumping kind of pivot, but with my rear hook. Okay? I'm going to shuffle back, but I'm going to be hitting with my rear tool. Okay, now, if the alignment is in such a way to where my lead tool is the most applicable, either to his knee, or groin, or solar plexus, or whatever, face, okay, then the kick will be done with the lead leg, and I'll come back into the same hit that we did on the other side. All right, but there are things that change that. If my pivot and the subsequent alignment after this hook punch done with my rear tool lines up with my rear leg, then my rear leg would kick and I would set down with the opposite hand to hit with. Okay, so this is what you, you want to begin to see now throughout this whole series is that um, distance, right? Timing factors, alignment, speed, power, recovery. Okay, these are the scientific uh, facets of how to break down things that you're you're working on. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. I think I better start this way a little bit. Okay, jumping pivot, shuffle retreat, kick and punch. Again, we have right to right stance. The feet are pretty much against each other. Might be shoulder to shoulder. This shoulder might be pressing him. I might be pushing with my head. I may shove him back, or I may stick my hand in his, his face here. Okay? And when I release his head, okay, I will jump into the punch. Okay? Shuffle retreat, boom, boom. And again, you can see the angulation that I'm setting up. All right? So. I'm looking at the screen as I do this, so that's why I've been trying to say throughout the, the video series is that sometimes that becomes a distraction on the form, the proper form that needs to be used. Other times it allows me to, to do it correctly, but um, 
it's really weird to be talking to yourself as, as like, I'm the student and the teacher at the same time because, uh, um, anyway, that's, that's the dilemma, but it seems to be getting better. Oh, I went backwards on that one. That's another possibility, by the way, that we're already close here and that he initiates the attack and not me, all right? And that I shuffle retreat and hook punch. And boom, boom. Okay, this is now punching range, although you could throw some knees, and straight elbows, headbutt, that kind of thing. But back to the program. Okay, jumping pivot. Shuffle retreat with the rear tool. Kick with the lead leg, collapse or drop down into the punch. Okay, we'll do a couple more. One, two, three, and four. And last one. One, oh, two, three, and four. I have to do another one, so that one sucks. I'll distract it, I'll distract it. All right. Okay, so that's going to do her. Uh, targets can change. Impacting, impacting weapon uh, contact points may change. Um, in other words, toe, instep, heel, um, you know, knee, groin, solar plexus, neck or head. Uh, various things depending on how your facing ends up around them and uh, whether they you are able to um, keep them facing in the same spot or whether they cut off the ring or whether they run from you or whether they turn and face you okay it's gonna do it I see my screen is fading I don't know if that's a battery bang or not <laughs>